you guys, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Boy, am I excited about today's topic. It's something that I feel very passionate about. I think it's one of the most important aspects of your wardrobe and it's spring wardrobe basics, yay! Like your home, your wardrobe needs a solid foundation and that's what your basics are. Your basics are your foundation for your wardrobe. Without that solid foundation, you can't build. You can't build your house, you can't build your wardrobe. So you need to have that solid wardrobe foundation, those solid wardrobe basics. It's gonna make your life so much easier. It's gonna make getting dressed in the morning so much faster and easier and less stressful, and it's gonna save you money. I would say 95% of the time when I see clients, their issue is they don't have the basics. They go into the store and they see the shiny and the prints and the patterns and the sequins and the fun stuff. And that's what we all want to buy. We don't want to spend our money on the basics, but we need to spend money on the basics. So what I'm going to suggest is that you head over to the blog, you print out my wardrobe basics picture, and you take it into your closet and you make sure that you have everything on this list that you need. Not just everything like, oh yes, I have a white button down shirt, check. Make sure that you have everything, that it fits you well, that you like it, that you feel cute in it, and that it actually is new, fresh, modern, and looks new. Like sometimes we have white shirts, we really need to replenish these kind of every one or two years because they get yellowed from time, they get yellowed from the dry cleaner, they get yellowed from wear, maybe they have deodorant stains, maybe there are other stains around the collar. So you wanna make sure that the pieces you have don't just check a box, that they also check the other boxes of you look cute in them, you like them, they're modern, they fit you, and they're not damaged or worn out. So I could spend hours talking about everything on this list and I don't wanna bore you with that video. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of run through the list, talk about some really important highlights, and then I'm gonna put some of my suggested picks on the blog. So remember, I put the blog link first thing in the description box, and if you missed my fall winter wardrobe basics, maybe you wanna check those out, um, and I'll put links to those below as well. So I'm gonna have my suggested picks on the blog, I'm gonna have this image on the blog also that you could print out, and um, hopefully that will be a tremendous resource for you if you're going to have if you're having trouble, you have any questions, you can always email me, always comment below, and um, hopefully we can get to the bottom of whatever issue you're having is. So first, let's start with tops. I would say a white button down is essential. If you're particularly busty, that may be challenging and you may want to avoid a white button down, but why I like a white button down is it's very classic. It's a great layering piece. If you live in a cooler climate, you're gonna be layering year round. Um, and it's just something you can easily throw on with jeans or a blazer. Jeans in a blazer or just with jeans. Um, it's just a great piece to have, very versatile. You can throw it on over a swimsuit if you need to as a cover-up. So I happen to like the ones that don't require ironing. I really don't like ironing. If I have to have um, anything that has wrinkles in it, I will wash it. I'll use a non-iron spray or I hate to iron spray, I think it's called. And I will use a steamer over an iron any day. I don't like ironing. But I have a particular white button down that I think is wonderful, especially for mature women. It's got a really dramatic pop collar when you put it up. It's very crisp. It doesn't wrinkle. It's, it's a good one. So I'm going to put that one on the blog. It's by Calvin Klein. So be sure to check that out. I think, you know, in addition to the white button down, you have to have a white, just regular blouse. I would suggest having both a short sleeve and a long sleeve one or a short sleeve and a three quarter sleeve one. You know, I think one white cotton blouse is great. And then I think one dressier blouse, maybe in a chiffon or a silk is wonderful. You've got to have tees, t-shirts, Short sleeve, long sleeve, those are just basic great layering pieces. I think you should have black and white. Camis, you need to have them to wear under stuff, to think, wear under things that are sheer. Um, again, black and white is a must. In your basic tops also, you should have at least two colorful blouses, whether that's a print or a solid, just something that you can wear with your basic pants or your basic skirts. Um, that's gonna be a must. And then I would say one cardigan is a great investment. And um, a fail-safe length for your cardigan or your sweater or your top is always hip length. So wherever your hip bone sticks out from your leg, that's a good length 
um, in terms of being fail safe and most flattering and most proportionate for most people, for most body types. Okay, moving on to pants and jeans. Now I, speci I specified dark wash jeans because I think dark wash jeans are the most slimming, I think they're the most elongating, I think they're the most flattering, and they're the most sophisticated and dressy. So they work for casual Fridays, they work for dinners out or events, um, and I think they're the most age appropriate. You're gonna see a lot of variations of light blue, you're gonna see a lot of distressing, um, but at the end of the day, you gotta have those dark wash jeans, especially for women over 40. Um, so I would definitely pick up the dark wash skinny jean and a dark wa wash boot cut or flare jean. I think a great spring summer trouser is an ankle pant. That's skinny all the way through the leg, but cuts off at the ankle. I think when you go a little bit higher than that, it gets a little bit trickier. It can be a little bit more, um, you know, can kind of shorten you a bit more. So I would say go with an ankle trouser. You know, um, shorts are optional. Not everybody likes to wear shorts, especially over 40. So you, that has to be at your discretion and what you're comfortable with. I happen to like wearing, uh, well, I feel like it's a necessity for me to wear shorts here in South Texas. Um, and I did a whole video on wearing shorts over 40. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link to that below too. Um, also black leggings, that's a good versatile thing to have. You know, lisse leggings are very popular. They were featured on Oprah um, back in the day and they're very slimming. Spanx makes leggings now too, which I think is wonderful. Um, I do think it's important to still have a pair of black trousers, a summer weight black trouser, you know, Ann Taylor makes a summer wool that's really lovely that's all season, so that might be a good investment and they make different cuts and they have petites and they have talls, uh, tall sizing. On to dresses and skirts. And this is really a short list, uh, but I do think it's a very important essential list. You've gotta have a little black dress. Maybe you already have one uh, that you've worn in the fall, winter that also works for spring, summer but maybe you don't, maybe you have one that's too heavy for spring, summer. So you wanna look for a little black dress that will work for these warmer months. I think you should also have a little white dress. Now it doesn't have to be bright white if you prefer ivory, just something that is that blank canvas of white, that neutral color that you can put a pop against, whether it's a statement necklace, statement earrings, a fabulous shoe, a great handbag. It's just a really versatile piece. I think everybody needs at least one sundress or maxi dress in the summer. Uh, one skirt, whether it's pencil or A-line, depends on your body type. And that's pretty much it for dresses and skirts in terms of absolute basics. Outerwear and handbags is the next category I wanna talk about. I do think we need at least one blazer for summer, for spring, summer. You can do a black one in a summer weight fabric. You know, maybe it's a lightweight knit, maybe it's a linen. And you, all, you also could do a beige or a navy. Um, I think a trench coat is an essential piece. I happen to have and love my black one, but you could do beige, again, you could do navy. I think an anorak jacket is a great piece to have for spring, summer. Um, I just featured one recently, I'll put that on the blog. I think a leather jacket is a wonderful piece to have. For spring, summer, you can do a lighter color, like maybe a blush tone, a white, a taupe, a gray, something very neutral and versatile, but something, again, that feels more spring-like. Um, I think a crossbody bag would be a great investment. An everyday shoulder bag, when you're looking for everyday bags, remember, again, neutral colors like black, beige, taupe, gray, white, blush, metallic, and definitely when you're looking at your everyday bag, think about does it have like really hardcore, you don't want a lot of hardware happening. You want a minimal hardware so that it has maximum versatility. And then you need one clutch because sometimes you're gonna go to something a little fancier. I don't like to buy like evening bags that you can only wear to these big gala events. I usually have, I have a couple envelope clutches kicking around that I can wear during the day or to an evening event. That to me has more versatility and more purpose. Shoes, you know, you definitely got, you have to have flats, there's no question. I would steer you in the direction of the pointed toe flat, but you can do a regular ballet flat if pointed toe just doesn't work for you, whether you have bunions or you have a wide toe bed. Um, 
You know, I've talked about before my love of Sam Adelman Felicia flats. I know a lot of people like Tory Burch flats. Teaks makes great, comfortable flats. Um, you also want to have a black or nude heel. Again, if you can't do the heel, we're back to the flat. Um, a one pair of statement shoes. This should be a pair of shoes that really stand out, that you really love, whether it's a lace up or a um, beaded shoe or a bright, bold primary color, or it has a pattern, or it has a butter fly on it or just something that really is making a statement and something that will really add a lot of interest to your overall look. I think you should have a pair of, you know you should have at least one pair of sandals for summer whether that's black, nude, or metallic they're all extremely neutral or you can have all three which I, I think is a great idea. And then just one pair of summer booties. That's a big trend right now. Again, I think they have a lot of versatility. You get them in a neutral color, you get them in a, t a beige or skin tone color, and a black. You get a peep toe booty or something strappy. It's really, it's really lovely and very versatile. Um, and then lastly, just want to talk about accessories. I think a scarf is really a great piece to have right now. Scarves are back in a big way. You know, you can do an infinity scarf so you don't have to monkey around with how do I tie this. Or you could try one of the smaller scarves that are very much on trend right now. I would just caution you that if your neck is kind of short like mine is, to do something that's v-neck or scoop neck or you unbutton a button down blouse to create a little more space and length right here around the chest. Um, also, you have to have a state, like statement shoes, a statement necklace is a great idea. You know, there are so many wonderful affordable options right now. You know, this is an example of a statement necklace that I bought at Baba Bar and I wear all the time. It's really a wonderful piece. So in addition to your statement piece though, you should have some great substantive everyday pieces. And if you haven't seen my basic accessory wardrobe video, you should watch that for more details about your basic everyday accessories. But um, essentially, you just need one substantive necklace that you can wear every day, one pair of earrings, one bracelet, and you're done. And what do I mean by substantive? I mean something that you can actually see that adds some interest to your look. So if, if you have to like get a microscope out to see your jewelry, yeah, that's probably not adding much to your look. So you want to get something that people are going to notice and see, but it's not so over the top that you can't wear it with pretty much everything. So those are, you know, the basics in a nutshell for spring summer. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to print out your um, checklist that's going to be on the blog. Go into the closet, make sure you have all those pieces. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got lots of exciting things coming up. I'm gonna do some more try-ons because you all love that so much. So I'm excited to show you those. And um, also, don't forget to subscribe to the blog because I do put different content on the blog that's not on YouTube. And Instagram, at Busby Style on Instagram. I do a, a lot of posting on Instagram that is also very unique to that platform. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you guys. I, I get like so fired up when I talk about this stuff because I'm very excited about it, very passionate about it. And I think it's so important. So I hope it's helpful and um, you, you'll let me know if you have questions and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.